Nice basket. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> how 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 can you make this? Uh, willows. The willows down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it okay? Not from way? No, it's solid. When you drive? Yeah. It's solid. The police officer no, care? No, no. If they were to shake it, it's like... Yeah, what? Well, it's as sturdy as any camper. Any police officer stop you? Yeah. No. No? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This? What is this? It's a beaver. Beaver? Yeah, it's a beaver. Dead beaver? It's a dead one and it was turned into a bag. But it got wet and getting hard. Wow, you made it? Yeah, over here. Yeah. And then back here, this, this the frame for the thing is elk. It's the elk horns. Uh huh, elk horns. That's the Where frame. did you get that elk horns? Um, Oregon. Oregon? Uh huh. And then inside, see, it's inside and out. Oh <laughs> my, it's a pan pot. You sleep here? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh my! Oh, wow! Yeah, it's built like a sweat lodge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then pot. And what is this? What? This this box, metal These box. These boxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, for years and years before I got the wagon. Uh huh. For three decades, I lived on horseback, and those were the panniers that went on my pack saddle. Uh -huh. That's what I lived out of. Those boxes hold the things I've had to cook with, things I live with. It's like utility. They used to ride on a horse, and now that I'm too old to ride horses, they ride back there. Where are I, I from? Had to get rid of the horses. Where are I from? Huh? Where are you from? From here. You're living okay. here? Yes. Kingman? Google this name. Google my name. There is your name? Yeah, Phoenicia. Phoenicia. Yeah, F I N I S I A. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, search that. It's scandalous. Not working. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cage. Cage is case I, you know, sometimes we get chickens. Chicken? Sometimes we have rabbits, right? <laughs> yeah, and so I want to have a cage to put them in. Yeah, so when we go, you know, we have fresh meat that way, you know, they're living. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a, what is that? What is this? That's a bear. Bear? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How? Yeah. You skinned it? Um, no, a friend of mine did um, in Hell's Canyon. Hell's Canyon? Where yeah, is look, Hell's Canyon? Look, look. Um, up, uh, between Oregon and Idaho. Look. See, from the, from the claw. From the claw of the bear. Bear claw? Yes. And wow. you put a blade on it. You made it? Yeah. So it's like a... Can I take Wow. Bear. Person. Let me see. Major. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't move. Okay. Wow, <laughs> bear pole. Right. And wow. this one, this is a, um, this one's grizzly. This grizzly one's, bear? Yeah, grizzly bear. <laughs> wow. This one's just black bear. Hmm? He's a black bear. <laughs> oh <my>. <laughs> <laughs> as big as his foot. Wow, yeah. <laughs> big, as big. Where are you from and what's your name? I'm Do. I uh -huh. came from South Korea. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Could you show me more interesting? <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, yeah, here. Who is it? This is my shirt. It looks like Indian. Yeah. This is my Indian shirt. Clothes. Shirts. Yeah. Are you a Native American? 
Oh, I'm mad Irish, you know. You're uh, Irish? The Irish American, the crazy ones, yeah. Yeah. And that's the back of the shirt. Mm hmm. And this is the front. It looks old. Yeah, it's old. Why are you keeping it? Um, you'll this... find if you Google my name, mm -hmm. lots of pictures and stories about me and that shirt. Okay. And lots of photos. Just search Phoenicia. Phoenicia. You yeah. you have what YouTube channel or something? Um, there's some YouTubes and Facebook uh, newspaper articles. Newspaper article? Uh -huh. um, they what you know view you? Yeah, and then there's scandalous stuff where uh, I was fighting with the law. You fought you fought with the law. law? What kind? What? So well, it's you know it's in violation of treaties of war to live like an Indian in America. So when I go living that way for thirty years, I'm in violation of treaties of war. They could shoot you, mm. and no trial or nothing. So I've been fighting for that mm -hmm. freedom to just say I don't want to live in your society. Mm -hmm. Show me something in your world that gives me a conscience. What can you do in the civilized world that would leave you a conscience? Nothing. But you could go back to those native ways that were genocided here and you might have a conscience. But nothing in this fuck all society and fuck all world is going to leave you a conscience. So, you know, as a matter of conscience, I would fight for the right to live this way. Okay. In the horses. A long mm -hmm. time ago when I was young, I used mm -hmm. to scrabble with everybody. Yeah, they killed one of my partners down here in Arizona. Digging Horses. roots, wild roots. Want to try one? Yeah. Yeah? Here. You lived in the desert all your life? Yeah. yeah. Here. What is this? This is a root. Root? And it tastes like a peanut kind of. Mm. It's a wild carrot. You should try. Taste it. I don't know. Uh huh? <laughs> See? It's good. Try. This is the food of the desert. Food of desert? It grows all over where there's a little moisture. It's called yampa. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm Do you like this lifestyle? Yeah. What about socialized? You, you don't like living in a city? No, I don't want to live in the city or the farm that feeds them. I wouldn't want to live in the city or mm. the farm that fed the city. Mm. No, I'd rather just go plant those wild food, that wild food. Mm -hmm. Nobody but you and me knows that wild food. Very, very few. And I plant those wild ones. Nobody knows. Wild bread. Wow. You don't need the farm. Not here. Uh -huh. mm -mm. From here to Canada is mm -hmm. lots of wild food. I would never need a farm. So in the desert, you can find the food. food. Wow. Lots of food in the desert. So usually, what do you eat then? I eat the wild roots, wild the root. pine nuts, pine nuts, and the little birds and rabbits and rats. You know those little, uh, like kangaroo rat. Mm. Oh, you hunt? Well, sometimes with a little mouse trap. Uh huh. Yeah, and I hunt the jackrabbit, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it tough? Isn't huh? it difficult to catch it? No. No? Is it easy? It, it's real easy. The worst part is if you trap them, uh -huh. the, what happens is the foxes and the coyotes that are there eating them, they hear your trap. So they... They will come running like it was a predator call. They get smart and they will steal that that you've trapped right out of your trap. So once you hunted the rabbit, the coyote... Come and get it before you can. Oh my, it's scared. No, no, no. They're not scary, but they will eat your dog. They're not bad that way. We have no. cougars, cougars and rattlesnakes. That's about as scary as it gets. So you are not afraid of them? No. Not at all? No. Not afraid of any wildlife? No. Wow, even grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, the bear, uh -huh. is the 
real monster. In yeah. America, uh -huh. I think we only have one real monster. It's not the cat. It's not the cougar. He's too reclusive. He doesn't want to hurt his pretty paws. Uh -huh. That bear is a real monster. If you should be afraid of anything, uh -huh. be afraid of that bear yeah. and the horse you're riding. <laughs> Generally, mm -hmm. I've never had problems. They run away. Mm. What is the most surprising of all that family? Mm. And they're all vicious. The wolverine, the bear, the weasel, mm. they all belong to the same family. And the badger is meanest of all. Since so many scary animals out there, why are you still living in a desert? I like to plant it mm -hmm. so that it becomes rich with what feeds it. I like to plant what feeds the desert. That's what I like to do. A gorilla planted with whatever would feed that wild thing mm. to make that wild garden more diverse and abundant mm. for those wild animals. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather work building a wild native world. I would rather build the web of life than to build that goddamn Babylon that tears it apart. There's no conscientious subjectors. When they went to Korea and Vietnam, America has conscientious subjectors. No, it breaks my conscience to go to war. To kill people is against my religion. There's nobody who is a conscientious subjector to this war on the web of life. Everybody's willing to kill it. I thought I should try to go the other way. You're not working. No, I've not worked my whole life. It was a sin to work for money. To work for money was one of the sins in my strange own religion. Do but I you mean? have to fill the gas. Uh, now that I'm old in America, they give me money. Who? The government. Government. SSI, yeah. I never worked. You never worked all your life? Mm -mm. No? No. Wow, then what about educate? Did you, I went did you go to school? I went a couple years to college. A couple of years to college, yes. And, uh, and at that time, I worked a little bit. I earned $23,000 my whole life in working. Because, mm. you know, even if I thought it is a sin to work, I'm a sinner. So I'll you, do it. <laughs> so you went to college, then you to the city. Right? At that and time. Then, yeah, mm -hmm. and, and then you have friends. Yeah, when mm. I was young. And at the age of 27, mm. I was done. So from 27, what made you get out of desert and living in a desert? It's what I had here. It's where I grew up. You grew up here? Yeah, it's what I knew. Do you mind? Do you have family? Oh, yeah. None of my own, like children. No, I've never had children. Uh-huh. No, but you know, I have all of the best children. And mm. I didn't have to raise them. But when mm. they find me as young adults and come out, I find some really good people, mm. yeah, youngsters and stuff, help me with my gorilla planting. Gorilla? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Let me videotaping of you. Yeah. This is your power. It, yeah, when we're parked a long time and we can use the battery and recharge. Mm. Aren't you cold when you sleep at night? No. No? That back there mm -hmm. has two inches of foam. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. First wool, mm -hmm. foam, yeah. then a tarp. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have soul. You have everything. Yeah. <laughs> firewood. <laughs> firewood, yeah. <laughs> For the firewood. And shovel. And the rifle. Rifle? I cannot see a rifle. It's in the back. You were videoing. I thought you saw it. Where? It's right there. Wow. The gun. Yeah. Rifle. So you can't bear with this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and have a good one. Take care.